Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little mushroom plant pup with needle felt. The colours you will need is white, a yellowy white for the stem, white for the spot, the red for obviously the mushroom pup, and the brown for the dirt in the pup. You'll also need scissors, needles for the needle felt, which only adults or children with supervision can do unless you know that you're safe but make sure it's okay with your parents first. You'll also need a can for the base and you'll need paper and a box or something like styrofoam to be able to use for when you press the felt. Okay, I'll update you when I have the start. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is about a kind of a round shape of red um, yarn or felt, whatever it's called. and. You need like quite enough because you're going to turn it into the top of the mushroom. You'll also need your needles. So what you need to do is you need to get your needles out and you need to keep poking it until it becomes thicker and more combined. I'll update you when I've done that. Okay, so after you've got your circle shape, you need to flip it over and put it in your finger. And put your, your finger right in the middle and hold it like this so it can get its shape. You've got to hold that for a couple seconds, and then when you let go, it can be more in a mushroom shape. I'm struggling to do this with one hand, so I'll get back to you after I've held it for a couple of seconds. Okay, so after you've bent it, and it goes inwards a bit, you can put that aside. And that's when you need to get your yellowy-ish um, wool for the stem. You need to take out quite a bit, because that's going to come the stem. And it needs to be quite thick, so that it can be able to hold it up in the plant pot. Okay, so after you get your thick sausage kind of length, you need to get your needle and you need to poke it for about five minutes going up and then rolling it over and going through. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. When you get more and more in, you need to make sure that you fold it over and carry on because it does need to be thick. So when you fold it, it becomes thicker and then when you puncture it with the needle, like that, it becomes thicker and will become more stabilised when it becomes the stem. So after folding in the sides and the tops to make it smaller, it becomes the cylinder and it's very thick, as you can see, and that becomes stable to hold up your mushroom. And so next, after that's nice and stable, you put that to the side with the mushroom and then you need to grab the white and get little pieces out, roll them into balls, needle felt them a bit, make them a bit flatter, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so after you've got all your balls complete, you need to bring back your mushroom, and you need to make sure you bring in your scissors. Okay, so for the first, you need a mushroom dot for the top. Ooh, it's sticking to me. Okay, and then this one is already cut in half from yesterday. So I'm going to reuse it, and then you need one about there, and one about here. And then you cut this one in half for the other sides, because they're all going to be different shapes and sizes. And then after, I'll show you how to needle them on after I snip them in half. Okay, so after you've got them all ready, you need to get your needle, and you go through it. And you've got to hold it still, so that you make sure it gets little grips on. And I'll get back to you after to do this because you can't do it one handed. Okay, so after you've needled them all on, you need to make sure that you put your thumb back in it and bend them over again to make sure it's still bent into its mushroom cone like shape. Okay, and then after you've done that, which I'm going to do and then come. Okay, so after you've done that, you need to flip it upside down and bring back your stem. Choose which end you want to be able to needle on and then you need to make sure you hold it up and then needle around the line and then try and go a bit through the middle. The yellowness should go into the middle uh, mushroom dot so then it should be basically hidden. I'll come back after I've done that. Okay, so I've made my mushroom lid quite wonky because I wanted a wonky looking mushroom. Okay, 
So after you've done your mushroom, this is when you begin to make your tin. So this you might need a bit of adult help. You need to make sure you wash your can. I need to go double wash it. And then you're going to cut it right down the middle basically. Maybe a bit smaller if you want your tin to be smaller. Okay, so after you've cut it in half, this is where the paper comes in. You're going to rip or cut your paper into small um, square pieces around that big. And then you're going to fill it up almost to the top. But remember, paper can be pushed down, so you need more paper so that can be sustainable. Sustainable. And uh, so yeah, to cut or rip around that big and fill it up. This is it about halfway done. The best way to do this is to recycle an old newspaper that you don't need to read anymore, and it will help recycle from the nature. But I'm just using some paper since we don't have any extra newspapers. So I'm going to carry on ripping this up, and I'll give you a note of. Well, I'll update you when it's done. Okay, so now that you have it filled to the top, you need to get your brown felt and you need to get about a circle worth of the can like this and pl put it flat on here and then needle, f needle it for a bit and I'll come back after that's done. Okay, so now that you have your circle, it's okay if there's lumps and bumps, it's meant to be dead. So next, bring in your can. Okay. So now that you have your dirt ready, test it in the parts if it's big enough. If it even has a bit of edges on the side, that's fine. Helps it. But be careful, the side of the can can be very sharp. If you need to, you can bend felt over it and glue it down. But I just seem to be careful and not get cut. Just keep that in, there, in your mind. Okay, so now you've got your dirt, you're going to have to take it out and then get ready. Okay, so now you're going to take your mushroom and use your needle. And felt it just like you put the knee, the um, stem of the mushroom to the mushroom lid. You need to use the stem and put it to the grass. Okay, I'll be back after I've done that. So, this is the finished piece. The mushroom's sitting nicely all up by itself. If you didn't want your um, part to look like a can, you could always paint it. Or whatever you want to do, or we'll put marker on it. But this is how I like it. It makes it look recycled and nice which is the vibe I'm going for. So yeah, this is the end, and I'll give you a slim montage for the end. Bye.